welcome to part five wow so in this as promised i have ex i'm gonna explain you the main file which is uh, the pocket phoenix file which is actually uh, doing the exact speech recognition offline that to online so the basic uh, idea of using pocket phoenix with google uh, speech recognition is to use pocket phoenix for offline and speech recognition um, a google recognize method for online uh, recognition that too it's going to hit google and then give it back uh just an fii there there is a reminder uh, there there is a there's a bar um, using the number of calls in a day so i don't know i may not exhaust it till late so uh, fingers crossed on that so let's jump into the code so you, you you're able to see let's let let's, let's minimize these things like this so you can see these are three different methods right so one is offline one is match and one is keywords so offline you can convert it into online actually it's not going to do any much but it's going to run the online catch the offline itself define what it is the matches for online and the keyword is basically getting the keyword and passing it to the shana convo db uh the explanation for this file is already done in the part four so i request you to go for that um uh, before that it's shana speaks it's with the previous videos so again um uh, as i did in the fourth part if you've come directly to this video uh it possible that you won't get a word what i'm saying so it's better if you go to video one number one and then start with the one by one with the series but if you're comfortable you're getting what i'm saying please by all means continue so uh -huh. if you have installed pocket phoenix and if you have shana speed system already uh with the with the tv files and you deal with the speech recognition then we are good to go so let's define with the first one that is offline so this is the first method that even i'm going to call whenever i'm going to run for this so i'm going to do a for for the phrases that is available in the live speech so live speech is a, it's a method that we have in box phoenix and in that we're going to record the phrases and it is a for so that it, it will keep on running it's not going to stop it's going to keep on running with the uh along with the flow like once when the one flow is step is complete then it's ready to listen again and then again and again and again this is the way to do it then we're going to print the phrase whatever it is and i am going to notify at the top of that frame phrase saying it is an offline phrase so it will it will print offline and below that the phrase that has been detected by pockets phoenix now one more thing that i'm going to share is that i have already recorded a video before that i think it's part one only where i've shown you that how you can train for some particular words so in my case i have trained for china plus some other words too it's like these oh i replaced that so, <laughs> words. yeah just was a text document that i was referring to great record the words but if you go through the tutorial you'll get to know that it's the same notepad <laughs> So basically, there are a list of words that you need to put in a text, upload it somewhere, and then get the dic uh, dictionary file and the LM file, and then paste it somewhere. So please, 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 please go to um, recording number one, and then you can uh, get an idea of what I'm saying about. So in the phrase, uh, the phrase is supposed to be converted into a string because the phrase type is actually a class. It's, it's an it's an object that we get back from live speech. So it's better to convert that into a string and then store it into response. I'm gonna print the response so it's easy to like. This is the response that has been uh, that has been uh, detected when you speak. And then I'm just going to check if it contains Shana. Then it's good. Then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put the put the response back to this file for check keys. The key response I'm going to give a response. The database functionality will happen and the database functionality will kick uh shadow speech and then something is will be spoken out these two files again refer to previous video please and then we're going to run with china match because the logic is keep on running offline 
whatever I say, if that sentence has word China, then send it to the database, get a response, basically that yes, I have acknowledged your uh, your request, your trigger, uh, which the, just a sentence that have a China, then call China match. So China match is doing nothing but going online, listening for the audio from the from the from the system audio. Uh, there is a variable that I define phrase limit that is none. So if you define, you're going to bind it for a couple of seconds. Like you can do for a second wise one, two, three. That's up to you. So if you're going to uh, if you're going to run for a small robot like a car, forward, backward, left, right, one second is enough for them, right? But if you do a none, it's going to wait for 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 a couple of five seconds, I think, to uh, to get that what you're going to say. So it totally depends upon your um, upon your idea what you are going to deal with. So do accordingly. So phrase limit, phrase time limit. It's important in that scenario. So once you do that, the source, uh, the audio will be resources, and then audio is sent it to recognize uh, Google. This is the this is the method that we're going to interact with the Google this much, and then whatever response we're getting, just convert it into lowercase print response, pass it to the China response keyword. And once you've done that, the Shana keywords do nothing, but the system method is doing nothing. It's just going to do a response. The response is, is passed to this variable. The response is send, sending to the uh, database, and then it's going to Shana speech, and the, the respective response will be speaking, spoken out. So the response is like keywords are these, responses are those, these. So keywords and response okay i'm supposed to use key here that's my bad but this is the way actually now the question may arise like why i don't simply use this method directly here i created this because uh, right now it's just a communication based but in future what i'm thinking to deal with is to have functions itself so what will happen is the response will go to this okay the response will be spoken out the thread to I can trigger it from here and do the functionality create the response and then the variables can be used together and then get a proper response so this is like a future thing this is not right now to discuss about and open up the logic but this is why I created a different um, function to deal with it then if there is an exception please uh, do it and print the exception not a problem but go back to this phrase shine offline so it's gonna run the phrase again so now uh, in the very start I said it, it will keep on listening along with the program right it will keep on listening if the response is not China it doesn't have a China then else part is keep on running until unless I set China it's not going to move further it's just okay going to keep running but the time I said China I need to call this function back to this so this is needed so this is like a kind of explanation which is required for this this much is enough so let's do the demo again and this time i'm going to speak uh, just a quick check i'm not i have not triggered any test function so this is clear and this is also comment so no problem i think we can run it so what i'm going to do is uh, at the very first i'm just going to speak are you there or any string that doesn't have shine in the word so it will keep on running it will simply show offline and nothing more than that i hope so and then i'm going to speak some sentence with shana and how are you i'm going to use that one because i guess we have that in the database how are you and then i'm going to use different sentences to get a different kind of response every time right so let's see how it goes let's run it Are you there? You there? Listen. Now. Shana? Shiv. How are you doing? Yeah, alright. Shana? I am listening. What's up? Not trained on this yet. 
Well, Shana? I am listening. Are you well? Not too bad. Shana? Tell me. Give me your introduction. Hey, my name is Shaina. I have ears and shivers working on my eyes. I hope we will see each other soon. Shaina. I am listening. Who are you? Hey, my name is Shaina. I have ears and shivers working on my eyes. I hope we will see each other soon. And I wait for DB close. So so now right now I'm gonna clean and let me explain how things happen right okay uh, coming to the cell uh, there is a way you can suppress this uh, we have a I went to I think stack overflow there is an option but I wasn't that much concerned about it it's not going to not causing a problem to me and that too if I jump back to Windows environment I guess it won't be there at all so it's something dependent upon the Linux it's not about you or something else so let it be uh, so let me explain how things work so i said firstly it's going to tell you which version it is detector running right now or detecting right now so this is offline i ask are you there it get detected are you there is already there in the, in the text file that created dictionary and uh, lm file there right then offline again you there because it doesn't have china right it doesn't went online at all listen that's it. Then I speak something which was not there in the file. So that is the reason it's blank. So that can also happen, right? So that's it. That's the word that doesn't make sense or doesn't match to the uh, to the uh, to the words which are defined in dict and lm file. It's not going to detect at all. I don't care, right? That kind of attitude she has. <laughs> then again, it triggers an offline system and then says, then I said, Shana, it get converted into lowercase and then it went to the DB get the response and says show so this is this get into DB but whenever I say China this is one response that just have show so let's let's go to DB and let's search one which is having just China so in this I have a word this so right oh sorry right so that got detected so and it closed and then the db is closed then it went online so because the offline string have shana it went to db get it shiv and then she went online i said how are you doing and she says i'm doing pretty good now Double print is basically me using uh, in the DB also and here also that is the reason it's printing double so printing a uh, print statement you can simply ignore that is up to you but right now I need to explain all this so that is the reason I was using print um, print statements there so <clears throat> I said how are you doing so it went to DB chase oh yeah there is a string so how are you doing this is a response oh okay let's let me back let's get the response and then say yeah all right and then db close she come back to offline so this is now where i said that you need in the final stage to say finally this you need this was to go back to the main one i said it again shana i am listening okay then she goes online so it detects what's up as whatsapp and WhatsApp is something that she's not trained of, so she simply says not trained on this. This is where I said that uh, in the convoy we have created a method. So WhatsApp is something that I may need to work on. I'm still thinking about that. But offline, then I again I said offline are not detected. Then I said offline China. Oh, detected. I am listening. The DB got closed, and then online. Are you well? Yeah, not too bad. Then again, things happen. Tell me. So she did. She she get the idea of tell me, and then DB close. I said, give me your introduction. She split the sentence, so there's a sin tokenized thing that this is which happened. So she uh, that it, it it divide the entire string into different sentences, and she keeps on speaking that. 
and then DB is closed. Then again, offline, I said China. Yeah, I'm listening. DB closed. All right, how are you? Hey, so I said, who are you? And then she had another explanation happens. So this is this is how things are working, and this is how you can actually implement your entire uh, speed system. So with the help of DB, Pocket Phoenix, speech recognition, Google Speech. This is somehow that you can make it work. There's still room for improvement, like first I have to cut down the <laughs> print statement, second you need to improve, like this is just like a communication bot I can say, but we need to add functionality into it, right? So this is, that would be the second step that I'm thinking to deal with. So let's see how it goes. Uh, thanks for watching all this and have a great day.